god. Oh. Can you, like, lighten the mood a little bit? Tell me, like, a funny joke. Have you heard any funny jokes recently? I don't really do jokes. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh. oh sweet. I'm entering my first year of high school. I'm pretty nervous about it, but excited at the same time. My grandmother was recently diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Oh no, Granny. The diagnosis didn't really phase her. She seems a lot less lively these days, just listening to the radio or TV most of the time. Is Parkinson's the right disease? Isn't it Alzheimer's? Parkinson's is the shaky one. Yeah. Alzheimer's is the forgetty one. You can be forgetful and have Parkinson's. Yeah, sure. Don't judge people. But there's no descriptions of her, like, having tremors or, or anything at all. Okay, she seems a lot less lively these days, just listening to the radio or TV most of the time. I try to talk to her about current events and casual topics, but her responses are more bleak and dull than they used to be. Oh. I wouldn't describe her aura as depressing or gloomy. A more precise word would be hollow or empty. It's almost as if a part of her has drifted off somewhere and is yet to return. She would have episodes like this before, but the frequency and length of the episodes seem to be increasing. Oh man. They've totally got the wrong disease. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, well, they didn't know who Neil Young was. Oh. <laughs> Get in that room. Have a look in that room. Come on. Oh man. Not the fucking... What is this room? It's Nana's reading room. This is where I stare at the blank picture, Simon. Also, rocking chair on a rug is a terrible idea. Ooh. I mean, that's an accident waiting to happen. What? Oh, God! <laughs> God damn it! So there is a radio there, isn't there? Which, maybe oh, when we do something... It hints like... something's going to have to happen in this room. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, guys, it's me, your friend. The Observer. What? Who was it? Was it the Observer? The Instructor? Man, I wish they'd open the doors like a little bit further. Hey demons. It's your boy, little bros. Oh wait a minute. Are we back? Oh, that's fun. Uh, okay, there's like... Stuff. Like, Nana's house is like... Outside of the creepy ambiance, yeah, it's kind of nice, huh? It's kind of big. Are you saying that you would like to live in the creepy house? I'd instantly upgrade these from the twenty watt bulbs they have currently to okay. like good, nice sixty or a hundred watt bulbs. They're like bam. Okay, but energy saving. Well, yeah, yeah. LEDs would be good. Yeah, like LED ones, because yeah. like fuck me, they're cheaper and they last forever. Um, not forever, but a long time. Forever, um, forever, ever. Ever, ever? It's Nana's creepy reading room. Nana. Okay, this bit's full fucking PT, huh? Pretty much. Um. Oh. oh. James, I'm sorry to bother you, but I've misplaced my keys somewhere. Can you please find them for me? Just place them next to this note once you've found them. Grandma. Because, like, if you have to go around your house, when the lights are on, like, there isn't, like, a power outage. Mm hmm And you have to use a torch just, like, on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, that would suck, wouldn't it? That doesn't feel very good. How do I get this guy on? Are these always here? Yeah. Well, kind of, like... Yeah, yeah. They've, a little, like. they've always been here. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Today I landed a part-time job tutoring my neighbour's kid. I can't get a real job yet since I'm only 14. It feels a little bit heavy on the exposition. Yeah. I'm in middle school. <laughs> I'm in high school. <laughs> I'm 14. But at least this will give me some kind of income. Nice. Buy Pokemon cards. Regarding my grandmother's health, there have been no major changes. She remains uninterested and perpetually distant whenever I interact with her. Something kind of strange happened today. 
I caught her having a conversation with the radio. The thing is, the radio was off the whole time. She was arguing back and forth with it as if it were a real human being. It kind of reminded me of the crazy people you have to deal with when taking public transit. It's kind of messed up that I found it just a tiny bit funny. Oh. I'll probably be sent to hell for laughing at it. Oh. But I couldn't help it. I have a sick sense of humour. Because I'm 14 and an edgelord. Nice. Boom. I love her to death. And it pains me to see her deteriorate like this. I hope she gets better. Oh, fuck. Let's laugh at Grammy. Hello, 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 hello. So, are we some kind of weird little fucking sadist child? I don't... I think it's just a normal... Oh. I was literally just, like, just pressing E. Wow. <laughs> as I was, like, just walking around. Uh, I don't think you could notice it. But, um... There we go. Oh, shit. Okay, let's go and argue with the radio. It's getting a bit, like... spooky. Um... But, like, our parents were murdered. Yeah. We're living with crazy old granny who has arguments. Oh, they've got, like, a blip on this door in a very similar place. I think we... I mean, what, what, I mean, aside from that job, where, uh oh, where were we getting money from? Was there like an insurance thing with our dead parents? Uh, yeah, maybe. Granny. Because Grammy ain't working. She might have, um, like the parents might have life insurance. Granny might have a pension. Maybe. Her 401k. Maybe we pick up the pension at the post office for her. Also, like, grand granddad died. What's down there? What's, oh, it's just a vase. Another vase. Oh, Let's put this vase, like, underneath the top. It's her least favourite one. Maybe it's an urn with the ashes of your dead parents. Of granddad. I'll read the note again. It might have changed, actually. No. Okay, well, we've put your keys back, Grandma. Can they let us out? I am lost. The music's... That's the same one. It's tutoring people. Are you else to lost? Push? I am lost, Granny. I'm glad you could tell. Are you lost? Yep. <laughs> Is this always open? Fuck me. Oh, here we go. I... Oh. Am lost. Why don't you want to go in the creepy dark place? God, I just want to, like, exhaust the, uh... Potentially nicer options first. <laughs> no. I mean, I think that's fair enough. Although, usually... Like, I'm a big fan of the idea of, like, if you've got, uh -oh. like, a... A nice meal. Oh, God, we're gonna get spooked. And it's like your least favorite aspect of the meal on the plate. Okay. I try. I usually try and eat that first. So you eat all the like the cauliflower florets before yeah. you eat the steak. Yeah. Okay. As like a rule of rule of thumb. So I don't know why I'm. I mean, I'm the same. When I have like a roast dinner, I don't like gravy very much. What? So I just pour like loads of gravy on it, and then I like eat all the gravy first. You just so suck I just all the suck gravy. everything dry. Yeah. I suck all the bits of carrot dry, I let lick them until every little bit of gravy is off. <laughs> and I get the the um, Yorkshire pudding and I just tip it, blah, 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 emptying the gravy. Oh my god, that's And then so... I lick it out, and like, like really loud, like I'm you, going down on you it. You lick it out. You lick out a it's, Yorkshire pudding like yeah, you're going... Yeah, it's really loud when I do it. You're going down on it. And I always make eye contact with ever who's, you know, across me. Oh my god. You know, at the table. Or if it's just me alone, I just like stare at a random stranger. Just, into just a to mirror. make them feel at ease. Because, you know, it's really creepy if someone's just like stealing glances up at you or just ignoring While they're you. licking out a Yorkshire No, pudding. no, that's the. You've got to assert dominance <laughs> by maintaining eye contact. 
Right, okay. Yeah. Are you lost? Yeah, I am. Uh, oh, that's new. Oh. Fuck me, like... Okay. Yeah. Like a note in the same place, but it's a different note. Yeah. Last night, I caught my grandmother staring at a painting in the middle of the hallway. Nice. It was in the middle of the night, and her eyes were locked onto the picture. It was kind of eerie seeing her entranced by it. After staring at it for at least half an hour, she walked off casually. I took a closer look at the painting, and it was completely blank. It was literally a blank piece of paper she was staring at. At least I have some good news. <laughs> I earned a raise from my tutoring job. Nice. And I've started tutoring another neighbour's kid, so I earn more money. Yay! Oh, capitalism. I just wrapped up my first year of high school, so I'm glad I'll have something to keep me busy throughout the summer. Besides taking care of my grandmother. There's a lot of blank painting. Will. Oh no. <gasps> you go to prom with me. It's like a really elaborate, um, you know, kids do that Tom, thing. Tom, it isn't. Riddle Bros. He. That's capital H. Never. So it's obviously oh. he, never, something. Uh, will. Will you forgive me? I hope you're making a mental note of wh which paintings have which words. He will never forgive me. Will you? Will you? Oh. Oh, so you got H, right? Oh, he, uh, he will, okay, he will never forgive me. Will never, where was, for, he will never, Rose, forgive this one. Forgive. He will never forgive you. Oh. Who's he? Me. If I find out. What? To you, Tom. He will never forgive you. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm holding down. I was pressing the W on the keyboard. It's the time I'd walk forward. Granny, just come out and spook me already. <laughs> I'm, up, I'm here for my afternoon spooking. <laughs> you miss your Grammy. I miss my Grammy. I wish he would come and spook me. Is that? It's Papyrus, yeah. The Avatar font. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the new Avatar movies? It's going to be good. Like... There's four of them. I would be surprised if they... are going to hold their momentum. Um, the first one was fine. It I was mean, a feast for the eyes. Avatar was amazing. I mean, we're always quoting it in the office, you know. Jake Sully. I see you, Jake Sully. Jake Sully. There's um, something about braids and sex. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get your hair. It's and a bit like your penis, and you plug it into another animal's penis, and you mind meld with it. That's kind of what they were fucking doing. And you also use that to have sex with, you know, your cat person loved one. But are you, are you excited for Avatar? Are you like... No, not at all. Yeah, because there were like all the people that, like, did, did they have to like go to like therapy or something yeah people got really depressed because they wanted to be in like Pandora and James Cameron was like I'm gonna make four more movies and make money off these people I'm gonna make four billion dollars but I imagine it's a bit like any kind of tribal sort of lifestyle I bet it's a bit fucking savage and brutal most of the time like they seemed incredibly like peaceful like pacifists like, but like they live in the trees, right? Right. Why do they live in the trees? Because being on the ground, predators, fucking dangerous. There is so much so, shit out there that kills you. Yeah. Um. So they've evolved to climb trees, much like 
Our ancestors did. But like, no, that just their group chose to live in the trees because there's like the ones that live on the plains that ride the horses. Oh god! And I there's totally forgot about that. There's like um, other dudes, like because there's all the different tribes that like they hang out with. I bet those tribes go to war. I bet there's a whole load of fucking murder in the Avatar Avatar world. It's just like when you compare them to like evil, like the evil industrialists. The evil white man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, that they, they're dancing with wolves us. Oh, that's new. Oh. I woke up in the middle of the night to the sound of plates breaking. I dashed out of my room to see what was happening. I saw her in the kitchen, repeatedly trying to carry a plate from the kitchen to the dining room. While walking over to the dining room, she would drop the plate and repeat the process. I walked over to her and guided her back to her bedroom. I set up a small barricade nice. so she wouldn't be able to get out so easily. She could have really hurt herself. Maybe I should just set up a barricade so she doesn't get out of her room at night. I'm in the middle of my second year of high school right now and it's been really hard balancing school, friends and taking care of my grandmother. Most of the time I have to turn down social events because I have to stay home and make sure she doesn't do something crazy. Can't wait till we we solve this mysterious words on paintings puzzle. I feel kind of on edge, um, but the frustration is kicking in. The there's just something that we haven't like clicked on, and like the game doesn't have like a great. The plates, all the plates. Internal logic. Oh, fuck me, Granny. Grammy. I need to make a. New barricade. Oh, check the fucking note, actually, just in case. Oh, fuck. Because. <sighs> plates. No, that's okay. Plates.txt. Nice. A nice bit of, like, like a free photo that they found. Yeah. <laughs> Creative Commons licensed on Flickr. Oh, Jesus. Just fucking k come kill us. I feel like the fucking spookums are coming. I welcome the sweet embrace of spookums. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, I am lost. Oh. Something new! It's a different colour. Oh, there's no actual physical door there. That's interesting. That's the opposite of a barricade. It's not a bedroom, though, is it? It's her reading room. Probably not a good sign. It's just running out of batteries. Oh, why is there red everywhere? Why is the candle? Why is the chair? <gasps> just don't do it. Come on, Riddle Bros. Riddle Bros have got this far. I'm just gonna stay fucking looking at this. This seems fine. I don't think. What what are they burning to make red? It doesn't seem very healthy. I'm not sure what's red. I guess it'd be like an iron compound, maybe. Okay, I'm not very hot on my old chemistry. Oh, maybe there's a new note for us. Because blood is red. Oh. Is this door locked? It's not even... I can't even interact with that shit. Okay, so there's probably something in the room. Stare at the candle, maybe? Yeah. I guess that's one of the mechanics in this game that are a bit, like, problematic, is, like, you have to, like... The chair, the chair fucking pushed me. <laughs> As though someone's sitting in it, Tom. Are you good? 
Is it like a wind up one? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Who was it even? Oh! In this place, he does not dwell hell. Do hell. God is not present. No one will help you here. So what did the red thing? Hell is here. Hmm. You could crack the code. Riddle bro! <laughs> okay. Do you think we're in hell? Like, wasn't that immediately what we thought, like, at the start of the game? The very opening guess. When you yeah. call it God's Basement. Plot twist, we're in hell. Okay, right. So why did we go to hell? Uh, because we laughed at our Grammy. Maybe we killed her. Maybe we put her out of her misery. We laughed at, like, one fucking time. Oh. 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 Papyrus. <laughs> so we need note for us. The spookiest of all fonts. What they should have gone for is, uh, uh, what was it? Chillerman. Chillerman. Chillerman, Chillerman font. Or was it just Chiller? No, Jokerman <coughs> is the, the weird font. They should have gone for Chiller. Yeah. Oh, it's blank. Fuck that one up, didn't you? What about wingdings? Oh god. Granny. Oh, she is shaking Parkinson's. Maybe. I think you might have to move on. Fine. Riddle Bros, gonna get a jump scare right now. Cause Granny's gone fucking crazy. She's gone crazy. Where are we going? Oh! oh. Oh. Jesus. Um, well, until next time, everybody. Catch you later. <laughs> oh, hello, it's me, the Riddle Plant. This game sure is getting spooky, huh? Maybe you should leave a little comment below. That would sure be real nice. Nice for the Riddle Plant. I can't leave comments, because I can't use a keyboard. Sad times, Riddle Plant. Sad times.